In today's video, we're going to be opening some modem batteries. Now these batteries are really simple to open. The most important thing you'll need is actually going to be the batteries themselves. And the ones I'll be using are in this nice little box I'm grabbing here. Yours probably won't be in as nice of a box, but sometimes that's the kind of things we have to live with. Next, you want to find a good surface to use to open your batteries. I'm just using a flatbed trailer since it was right next to where my batteries are stored. Try not to use a table or something as you might bang into it. Next, you'll want a flathead screwdriver, which you really don't want one that's too sharp. It's best to have a flat blunt tip. Aside from that, get some pliers, a hammer, and some scissors. With our tools ready, we can go ahead and get into opening the battery. My biggest piece of advice would be to wear some gloves. It's going to save you a lot of pain in the long run. I've cut myself opening these countless times. Now, as you can see, there is a ton of stickers and plastic on the battery. I recommend removing that beforehand. It just makes the process a lot easier. It's really hard to break the plastic away from each side if you have stickers kind of holding it in place. It can be done, and I've done it, but I found that it just isn't worth the time. Now, to actually get into the battery, you'll just put the flat end of the screwdriver against one side of the line in the plastic. There's actually a lower and upper side with how the lips of the plastic are. If you can figure out which is which, you'll have a much easier time, but it'll work either way. As you can see, I just tapped the screwdriver pretty lightly with the hammer and it goes right in. Really easy to do. If you noticed, it sort of split apart with that last hit. When that happens, what I usually do is just pull apart the casing with my hands. It usually comes free pretty easily. Now, usually these batteries end up being glued into the casing. This is the part you want to be very careful with. What I do is just lightly pry it with my screwdriver and slowly work the battery, moving positions as it starts to come up in one place. You'll definitely know when it's ready to come out. It usually just pops out like that and you're ready for the next step. The next step just happens to be cutting the wires. Be very careful not to let the scissors touch two wires or an end of the batteries at the same time. Just a warning, it won't be pleasant. Now you're going to want to separate the batteries. I usually just rip them apart by hand just make sure if you're recording yours, you don't knock over your camera like I did with mine. Once you've separated the two sets, you want to separate each set again, using the pliers to rip off any remaining metal as you go. But yeah, that's all there really is to it. It's a really simple process. It's mostly just time consuming. Also, this is why I told you to wear gloves. So be careful out there and have an awesome day.